most of the time performance issues come up uh, way way long after the system has been running for two or three years when uh, the number of users has increased or the number of orders or the number of um, uh, the data size has increased and we are uh, uh, the situations that were not able to be foreseen while uh, going live will now pop in or pop up two three years after the system is in use but with the performance toolkit extension we can be able to simulate some of uh, uh, these scenarios and be able to know uh, prior if our extension is robust enough and especially with the uh, new releases of new versions <laughs> And uh, I'll just go through the simplest way uh, of installing the performance toolkit so that you can be able to uh, simulate that in your environment. And it only runs in the sandbox for the SaaS version or on-prem. You can also run it on Docker. And uh, uh, it's divided like uh, there's this extension uh, the performance toolkit extension, uh, performance development tools from Dynamics 365 Business Central, and it makes it easy for us to create a new Business Central performance toolkit project, and it targets our environment. So this is the extension to go to do it. This similar performance toolkit extension is already in uh, our, the app source for free, so you can either use this or download it but that is for the SaaS version so if you are um, probably targeting the on-prem docker version then this is the way to go and remember this is just an extension that enables you to similar to the test toolkit this one now enables us to simulate a performance uh, the test enables us to test our application to determine if uh, there is an error or the test run okay but now this one will enable us to sim simulate our performance so once you install this documentation okay this extension and um, these are the uh, this is the ability th that the scaffold for a new business central performance toolkit al project uh, will be able to do for us install the extension and as usual just go to control shift p and then just type b c p t and then you'll have these options and the first option that we'd like to use is setting up a new business central uh, performance toolkit project in the SaaS version this is where i would like to set m up to set up mine and then i'll choose the two different environments that i have i do have the, J the jcl and training sandbox environment it only runs in the sandbox and then I'll click on this, okay, but uh, uh, here. And then it will be verifying that performance toolkit has been installed. And then it will be adding and renumbering sample tests. Uh, renumbering meaning it looks at uh, the numbers that have been used uh, to avoid conflict. So remember the performance toolkit tests are similar to code units that um, we create in test uh, scenarios and this code unit will be simulating our code of course they're just inspirational that microsoft comes uh, has given us some that we should of course build our own maybe i'd like maybe to open uh, the gl account how long does it take to open so let me open a new window real fast. And uh, of course, our code unit will come without symbols. Uh, let's give it time and then we'll download the symbols real quick. Then once in the process while it downloads, when you look at this, it comes with the scripts and mostly the scripts would like to will simulate um, uh, concurrent users being logged in at the same time. Uh, let's look at some code units here. Most of them are test code units, and uh, we can look at this like this is a test page for chart of accounts, simulating the opening and the closing of the chart of accounts or the detailed trial balance, opening and closing. Uh, okay, saving it as a blob. 
and uh, something like opening the item list and several others. So this is just an example of maybe or, or even requesting um, a web call, but you can do it now for our own uh, different web services. So after doing this installation, we can be able to build the project and run. Uh, we start debugging so that we can run and install these code units in our extension so that we can be able to make one or two tests for our Business Central Performance Toolkit extension. So straight away, it's opening my uh, Business Central sandbox environment, which I have targeted. Remember, it is real quick. It's creating it for me automatically. And uh, here, uh, BCPT1, and then the tag enables us to identify the tests. If we were maybe uh, doing a tech namsangi test, we'd use this particular tag to basically identify because in our log entries, once we have been able to do our test, we'll be able to see different tags because if we had several tests on going on at the same time, then we need to know. There's one for, uh, we need to know which one uh, in terms of identity and we can filter with the tag and uh, analyze it in Power BI or using Excel with the pivot tables. The, we can either use the create um, purchase order or let me just use this simple one of opening the chart of accounts. If the chart of accounts is too big, it has so many entries, you can only select one code unit at a time, at least just to make sure that you are able to be detailed enough to select whatever you would like to. Do I have an error? Nope. What's wrong with this code unit? Okay, there was uh, an option for parameters and it was expecting me to select the parameters uh, provided for this opening of the chart of accounts. Uh, okay, so here we do have now the the other important thing is number of sessions that are running. We can say if there are two sessions running and uh, there is a delay between uh, interactions of like around five seconds, just to simulate what the user could be doing because the user will not automatically be able to uh, do everything at once. So let's um, start this line in the foreground. Or we can either choose to start it this way or we can choose to start here to run all the entries at once. And um, so the run in is continuing. We'll give it time to run, working on it. It's running in the background. Okay, this is in the foreground. We'll be able to clearly see in case there is any error because we are running it in the foreground. Okay. So there is an error. Let me just pick another code unit. Like uh, the simple one, make a web call. We try and make a web call. Don't want to any interruptions. Let me. Let's see this. Create purchase order or sell order lines. Okay, so let's create a. This is a purchase order lines. We want to create ten 
lines because the parameters is auto selected. I think that was the challenge with us. Two sessions, and we can maybe set it to four sessions. We'd like it to run in the background. A delay between uh, in interactions, five seconds delay in interactions. And then uh, this is just an estimate of the average number of SQL statements. Uh, and at least it's giving us uh, average duration of running is like this number of seconds, 1697. Just an overview of what will be happening if four users are creating 10 lines of purchase orders at the same time. So I will start. And it's showing that it's running because we have not selected running in uh, the foreground. Ideally, it starts uh, running uh, with the foreground and then background. I, th I think either of the two, foreground, background, or background, foreground. It starts with the foreground and then the background tasks. So we are already in the background tasks. It's currently running. The status is running. Once it's completed, then we'll see that the status will be completed. The total number of sessions uh, basically is a flow field that refers to the total number of sessions in the lines. So these test code units are code, unit, code units that we can create as ISVs for our own uh, custom tests or custom performance tests. Uh, for a solution that we have created. So this is just a sample, but you can use the sample from Microsoft. Uh, we'll keep on refreshing until it's completed and it is actually completed. And uh, of course we do have a change in duration, a change in number of SQL statements. So this one is specifying the difference in the number of SQL statements. Uh, for this compared to the base version, uh, average statements, average duration, everything remains the same, but we can go to the log entries and we can be able to look at uh, uh, every other um, uh, action, how long it took to run. So like uh, this one is divided into different scenarios, like adding an order, um remember when you create a line you first add an order then you enter the account number so this is a different scenario you enter the line amount enter the i uh, the quantity uh we will look at scenarios in a, just a later video because the scenarios help us get into more detail about what is happening for this particular uh uh, document record uh, that I'm doing. Am I entering the account number? How long does it take to execute entering the account number, entering the line number, entering the quantity, and how many SQL statements are executed for this step? And this really drills down into the detail of the performance, and we can export this in Excel and analyze to be able to see uh, exactly what where is the bottleneck and how can we improve uh, this performance so this is just getting started with the uh, bcpt toolkit um, it will be a series i think of two or three videos and i'll try we will try and create our own scenario so that we can uh, actually simulate and see uh, what our performance toolkit will be able to generate so th that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one